We have designed and built an origami robot that gets up and goes. In other words, the robot forms itself on the spot, accomplishes tasks, and then it disappears by degradation. The robot self-assembles using a folding process that is triggered by heating. After this, the robot can run along designated trajectories, it can carry objects, it can clear obstacles, it can swim, it can execute a variety of tasks. And when these tasks are done, the robot can recycle itself by dissolving its body into a liquid. This is the first robotic device that completes a full life cycle from its birth to its death. Typical robots consist of electronic devices. Our robot is made based on controllable materials. This is the biggest difference. The robot's body has embedded in it a small magnet and this allows us to control the robot by programming a magnetic field. In other words, the robot has external programmable actuation. Ringo. Ringo is a palm-sized robot based on the Arduino Uno. He's perfect for any robotics enthusiast. The wide range of smarts and sensors we've included will challenge and entertain even the most advanced programmers, yet he's still a perfect fit for anyone taking their first steps into robotics or programming. Ringo ships with 10 interesting behaviors preloaded, so you can start having fun as soon as you open the box. You can activate and control the behaviors with the included remote control. The light chase. Here, Ringo uses the three light sensors to track and follow the light. The pretty glow is coming from the two lights on his underside. You could make these any colors you want. The line follow. Here he's using the edge sensors under his feelers to see the line. His eye flashes green when the sensor on that side sees the line. The finger nipper. Here he's using his accelerometer and determining which direction he's pushed from. Then he attacks in that direction. The scaredy bug. Similar example, but he runs the opposite direction when disturbed. In this example, the gyroscope is used to keep Ringo pointed a specific direction even when disturbed. Wind him up like a clock and let him go. He returns to the starting position. Pretty cool, huh? After you learn how his sensors work with the preloaded examples, you can customize them with your own personal touch by editing our easy to understand example code. This is a great way to learn the basic structure of how a program works and to move towards more advanced skills. You can make him come to life, like he has a real personality. He drives around using a pair of pager motors. The tips of the motors make contact with the surface on either side. Both motors can run in either direction and at variable speed. This makes him very maneuverable. Have you ever seen water striders jumping and darting on the surface of a lake or a river and wondered how they're able to do that? A team of researchers at the Seoul National University, the Wyss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering at Harvard University, and the Harvard Paulson School have investigated the hydrodynamics and mechanics involved with jumping on water. They have applied the lessons learned to develop a bio-inspired jumping robot that maximizes momentum transfer to a liquid surface. To achieve this unique locomotion, researchers found that water striders rotate the curved tips of their legs inward at a relatively low descending velocity, with a force just below what is required to break the water surface.
This small robot, which can launch itself off the surface of water, successfully replicates biological movement in an artificial system. Full electromechanical system together. And one thing that we saw is that origami can produce very complex structures. Assembly by folding is not only inspired by origami, but it's also inspired by natural systems, ranging from unfolding of leaves and insect wings to protein folding folded devices. That required us to think about the materials involved, the, the manufacture of this composite structure, and a lot that has to do with the design. So one way to do this is to make a flat composite. You have flexible print circuit boards. You can make them out of paper and polystyrene. Polystyrene is sold commercially as shrinky dinks. And simply put it through a laser machining system and come out with a fold pattern. And then you take your composite and fold it up into a functional machine. And what we do is we mechanically pre-program this composite with features at each hinge, which tell it how far to fold along each line. This work is in large part supported by the National Science Foundation. One of the elements of this bigger picture vision that we're pushing together with our collaborators at uh, MIT is to have a complex robot do something useful, yet have it not be assembled by experts, basically it just assembles itself. This demonstration is the first machine that leverages folding to assemble itself and then do something, in this case, walk away. Then translate that to a flat design, translate that to a set of uh, recipes to assemble this structure, and then press a button and it builds itself and walks away.